Hello, this is a video for how to start the IM collage for VAT class. We are in week three, block one. That was the day that I introduced this project. And before we started the project, we had done some research in our notes for class. So that's literally just a Google Slides. that You start empty. This is my example of the notes that we looked up because I want you to try to remember how to make your design look good by using some of the elements and principles. So we looked up an example of the elements and principles and we looked up unity in art, specifically unity in photography or unity in di digital illustration. And we looked up emphasis in art, again, in photography and or graphic design. So unity being something that creates visual harmony and everything comes together. It looks like it all belongs. And you do that through repetition, color and shapes. Emphasis is when something stands out. Now, interestingly, you can still have emphasis and have harmony, but you want something to stand out above the rest. So see the unity here with the repetition, but the red chair stands out. See the unity here with the black and the white color palette and these shapes repeating, but the red shape stands out. So if you didn't make your research notes, please make that slideshow, look up some examples like mine, and that will eventually be linked into our portfolio. Then we got started on the assignment. Anytime I list assignment in big capital letters, you're gonna go there to the actual assignment for class, and here it is. So the I Am Collage is gonna be using the program Adobe Star Spark, which I'll walk through in a second. You're gonna make a collage by starting with one of their templates. You're gonna pick three to four I Am statements, and they can be impersonal, like I am a sophomore, I am a daughter, or they could be very personal, like I am resilient, I'm, I'm bold, I am outspoken, whatever you wanna share. You're going to come up with a photo that represents each of those statements. Now the statements aren't actually written in the, in the collage, the photo represents them. So that photo can be your own photo, or you can pull it off of stock photos, or you can pull it off of the internet. You get to pick a photo you think represents this statement. Icons are different, those are extras that you may add. You can also add more text if you want to. You are going to include the words I am on your collage, but anything else, like I said, is extra. And then you're gonna turn in the project into your collage, or sorry, into your portfolio, which I'll see when I grade. So going back here, um, this is an example of mine. So I made it with five photos. I am an art teacher. So these are pictures of me and my art teacher friends. I am a mother and a wife, so this is my family. I'm an artist, so here's a piece of my art. I'm a digital artist, so here's a photo on a computer. And I am happiest when I'm by the water, so there's a picture of a lake that I really, really love. I made all of those photos black and white to create unity. And then I made these pink bars and the I am, the words I am pink also to stand out, so that's um, emphasis. So that's how I achieved my collage. You only need three photos, but you do need the words I am. This is a quick video of how to use Spark, but I'm gonna walk you through how to actually make the collage. So you go to Spark and it's gonna ask you to sign in. You're gonna continue with Google and then sign in. And when you're in here, you're looking for a bar that says search. So you're gonna search through your templates and you're gonna search for collage because we're gonna start with a photo collage. A whole bunch of options pop up. Um, remember, when you're picking a template to start from, it's not about the content. Like, just because it says New Zealand doesn't mean you have to keep it looking like New Zealand. You can pick anything. It has to do with the colors and the font and the, the organization of the collage. So pick something that you think um, looks like a nice organization. I actually started from this one on my example. And when you click it, you hit edit this template. In Spark, you should be able to click on individual photos, click on shapes and click on text. And obviously you're gonna change what's here with your own stuff. So the first thing I did was double click on the words and I wrote I am. And I went and saw what that looked like. Now it's kind of small, you can stretch it here. You can um, play with size here also. You can play with letter spacing. You can change the font if you want to. Uh, you can make it see-through. So if you want it to be faded and over top of things, you can do that. You can change the color, but we'll wait on that. You can add special effects. 
um, like drop shadows and things. And then this guy will like rotate you through a bunch of different styles, which I don't want to mess that up. So I'm not going to do that right now. Pictures. For pictures, you're going to click on the photo and you'll see you can change the scale of the photo here, rotate it, flip it. But more important is for you to replace. So you're going to replace that picture. Now, the first thing that pops up are free pictures. So like if you want to say I'm a football player and you search football, if you find a photo that you think could potentially represent, oh, you're all soccer, potentially represent what you want to represent, then you can choose one of these pictures. Um, so like, let's say this guy, if I double click it, it pops in and I can move it around. If you can't find one that you like and you want to pull one from the internet, you can. But remember, with these images, sometimes they have watermarks, sometimes they're blurry. So look for a photo that when you click it, it has some pretty high numbers here. That one's pretty good. And then you can save your image or download your image, put it in your downloads folder and save it. Back on Spark, you can replace the picture, and instead of finding free photos, you go back and you can upload the picture. Now, of course, this all has to do with the size of the template here. So if I think that's too small for my football photo, I can stretch it, I can change it, and I can play with the scale, but it might not be the perfect photo, so I might need to pick a different photo. But let's say we're comfortable there. Another option would be to use your own pictures. So when you go to replace and you go back, you've got connect to Google Drive or you have upload from your own Chromebook if you have pictures in your Chromebook. So here's where this gets a little more complex. If you have pictures in your Google Drive, you can connect just like we do everything else. that again, replace, go back, Google Drive. Now it says it's connected, so I should be able to get into my photos and choose my own picture. We'll do this one. So that's my own picture from my computer device. So what happens if you um, don't have pictures on your Chromebook and you have pictures on your phone? Here's where life gets a little more complicated. You can put Google Drive on your phone or on your iPad by downloading the app. And I cannot stress enough how much I use this app every single day, so it's really helpful. When you have Drive on here, it's going to ask you which folder you want to upload to. Let's go here. And you hit this plus button down here. Oops, wrong button. Hit the plus button ah. started getting crazy okay hit the plus button oh my goodness there we go and you get an upload option you click upload and it will navigate to photos and videos and then your picture should load so then if you want to click on pictures like one, two, three, four, five, and you hit upload. So I clicked on my photos and I hit upload. It's going to load. And what we tend to do is get um, bored and go to a different app. But if these are not done, if those are not done loading and they're grayed out like that, and you go to a different app, you will stop the upload. So unfortunately, you have to sit here and let it upload before you mess with it. It also might take a while for it to show up on your screen on your Chromebook, but eventually it will. So like good thing to do when you got to go, I don't know, eat dinner, take a shower or whatever, do some math homework and let that load. But then those pictures should be in your Google Drive for you to pop in. Again, if all this is too complicated, just choose stock photos that you think represent what you're talking about. Now I've got more pictures on here. So like maybe I want to delete this guy and maybe I want to delete this guy. So I just want three photos, right? Once I have those photos, let's say the third one is teacher. I'm a football player, I'm a computer person, I'm a teacher, awesome. Oh look, she looks happy.
So, so it's not my face. So you're just seeing holding a computer there. Um, now you had to make things look like they're unified. So on the photo itself, you can go over here to image. Oops, not that one. Filter, there we go. And you can enhance the photo, make it brighter or darker. You can increase saturation or decrease to black and white. You can play with warmth and shadows. So you can play with the overall appearance of the photo to make it look um, similar. You can also go down here to filter and you could also go to apply to all the photos. The same filter goes on to all the photos and that helps make unity. Now this I am right here, I feel like I wanna make that a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna do this kind of a thing and I'm gonna do this kind of a thing and then I wanna change the color. So I go to color and it's gonna automatically give me colors that it thinks look good with what's going on in my piece here. So I can change this and I can shuffle, go to this one and I can shuffle. I can go back to this guy and change the color of that. So I can play around until all this looks like it has unity and it has emphasis. One thing to note about Spark is if you have to leave and you sign out, it automatically saves, which is awesome. So you can re-edit it, or when you're done, you can click download, and it will download into your images folder in your Chromebook or your downloads folder. That's what you're gonna put in your portfolio. So when you scroll down into part one, you're gonna see this work slide. You're gonna go to slide duplicate, make a duplicate of that slide, and you're going to take this guy out and put in your project. You're going to write your reflection based on the prompts here. This is in my example portfolio. So you're going to tell me what your I am statements are and um, what you did to create unity and emphasis. So I hope this helps get you going so you can get started for the project. Um, do the best you can and always email me for an appointment and we can go through it together.